This was requested by Jubilee Jigsaw, who specified the 27 minute National Archives version. A first for me. It was a most unusual day. From the west, a cold front, riding in high on the jet stream. From the Gulf of Mexico, a sudden a change in volume and audio quality. Stable air heading northward. And when they collided, it became the day of the killer tornadoes. Are they seriously framing this documentary as a lost horror film? From early morning, the weather service warnings were out. From the Gulf to the Canadian border. Tornado watch for this area has now been changed to tornado warning. At 9.30 in the morning, the first tornado touches down in an open field in Indiana. We don't have much film on those twisters specifically, so we're going to use the public archive of others. Tornadoes are hitting Tennessee, Georgia, Ohio, two in Illinois, two more in Indiana. Oh, so we're covering the 74 outbreak? Oh, okay. Heading toward Brandenburg, a sleepy little river town 25 miles southwest of Louisville. At the radio station, just west of town, announcer Bill Byrne receives a telephone call telling of its coming. Which really interrupted, come and get your love. The list wasn't that bad. Those kids were just pricks throwing Reggie Bar rappers at him. The only warning, a last second shout, and in 30 seconds, 31 people will die. They were all killed by staged stock footage destruction. In Louisville, upriver, an alarm sounds in the newsroom at WHAS, the local emergency broadcast station. Trump insulted another country. Yeah, to the bunkers! Yeah, Give me the emergency action curtain. A tornado warning has been issued for part of Kentuckyana. Believe it or not, I had to look it up. It is a legit word. Special receivers. And that was Andrew Dice's Here's play. Coming up, the weather. has been changed to a tornado warning for Metro Louisville, Jefferson County, including Meade. In Hurst, the sky above, County, Dick Gilbert, Indiana. the station's airborne traffic reporter, is already keeping watch. Wow, they really did have a budget. I was anticipating cheap shots without the chopper lifting off. There are black people at a pool party. Leave them alone and look up. We have a tornado reported on the ground in the Brandenburg vicinity. And it's headed toward Louisville. And we think the siren should be activated at the present time. Okay, hit the yellow alert. Nowadays it's all automatic, but so close a slip will send out a false alarm missile alert. Fire department. Yes, it's tornado warning. During tell you list for further instructions. Well, it's a spectacular sight. Uh, the low clouds, very black low clouds. Uh, let's see. At the moment, they're just about over Bowman Field. Out and <laughs> I gotta admire the effort with the filming. I'm shocked. But here comes the wind. We're hitting winds up the good gracious sakes of life. How high is the wind speed at this time? There's 50 right there. My golly, the whole thing's going here. I'm going, going. Okay. Fuck that shit, he's out. <laughs> the huge funnel touches down at the state fairgrounds. This is actually Louisville in 74. Surprise? his camera and runs for the roof. They're in the bear cage! The storm roars through just east of the central business district of Louisville, then swings northeast and begins smashing the suburbs. He then sold that footage to CNN. 90 miles northeast at the Cincinnati airport. This is Cincinnati weather. Purple Hamilton County Radio. Go ahead with your traffic. Down order, 12 inch sausage, pepperoni, Pepsi 2 liter. Attention all cars and departments and all county broadcasts. 
Oh, I'm not interested in depth consolidation. I don't. Oh shit! The national warning system alerts Leora Macaron, the county civil defense director. Civil defense for weather service. What is the location of the tornado? Is this up your ass? You know. Greater Cincinnati Airport, moving toward the northeast, 50 miles per hour. Okay, I'm going to sound the sirens. Again, now on a computer for an intern to cause a scare by sheer stupidity. What's the matter with the sirens? Are they stuck? What do we have to do to get these damn sirens turned on? This is not a test. This is an for the first time in 17 years, the civil defense sirens are sounding in earnest. And a collection of bitching tied up the phones. The local emergency broadcast station. Mazel Tov! says it has sighted a tornado near the greater Cincinnati airport. Here is the National Weather Service with the latest report. It is a foul cloud. It looks to be about 200 feet off. No, now it is touching the ground. What is it doing now? Heading directly toward Hamilton County. This is how Santa plants his route for Christmas. Southwest of the city now. It's going to go up the west side of the city and through the northwest side of the city. Gentlemen, it's been a privilege playing with you tonight. By civil defense and members of the Hamilton County Disaster Council, representing police. Fire, Sheriff's Office, Rescue, the Red Cross, the Greater Cincinnati Hospital Association, and the Academy of Medicine. Ad Hick 92, Tornadoes. Ugh! Doesn't look huge, but I imagine the wind speeds are fucking insane. Except for the dead, for obvious reasons. The twister was merciless. Hey, put the camera down and help. Jackass. We got about uh, 40 or 50 people injured inside of town. Pour it up some bad. Did you want me to put it out on the hospital network? Yeah, you might as well do it. Sir. This is general control. I want to advise the hospitals on a net. God, the LA riots were worse than I thought. Be ready for any cares of these over. The Hamilton County Elmwood Police Chief. This is a disaster area. Disaster area. Okay, you got a nice budget and all, but guys, did you forget the blood makeup? How long have we been listening to radio chatter? I think I've lost track. The storm front keeps marching north toward Dayton and the smaller city of Xenia, a dozen miles to the east. Home of the warrior princesses. Bob Stewart, the Xenia city manager and his wife. Today is a special day, their 20th wedding anniversary. We now return to All in the Family, already in progress. Why don't you stop down uh, around five and I'll buy you a drink? Gee, it looks kind of nasty out. Do you really think we ought to go off and leave the kids? A decent budget, but you couldn't get decent actors? See what's going on then, okay? I'll see you. Jim, could you take care of this, please? In the National Weather Service office at Dayton Airport. Hey, could you broadcast this in a hurry? With special guest appearance by Alan London. Tornado warning is in effect for Montgomery and Greene counties until 5 p.m. this evening. Radar report indicates a possible tornado started 25 miles northeast. I hope to Central God Valley. that it wasn't an intern Blue cop. Northeast at approximately 50 miles an hour. Roger, let's try the 25 miles. Coast. Um, right where are the lights? The commanding general, Herbie Jarvis, is checking the storm on the radar scope. This looks less like a command center and more like the local bowling alley. Well, I'm concerned about an aircraft that's inbound from Chinook. Uh, can we circumnavigate, get him in the right pad, or should we divert him? In the newsroom at station WHIO... The very the station that carried the fucking Star Wars radar. holiday special. The cameras in the studio. Cameras in the studio.
Oh good, Bruce Nolan got his job back after torturing Evan with God powers. The radar now shows a tornado developing in northeastern Warren County. Let's take a look at it. At 50 miles, the tornado is indicated by that strong echo. That was early radar, folks, before it got color-coded. That's six hook now developing off the bottom of that tornado, uh, that uh, thunderstorm, rather. The track apparently is taking it from northeastern Warren County into southeastern Montgomery County into central Greene County. At Centerville Police Station, 10 miles south of Dayton. Ironically, not in central Ohio. All cloud sighted in the south part of the township. Start running your sirens and your loudspeakers. Attention all cars, departments, agencies, Montgomery County. A funnel cloud has been spotted in Washington Township, Montgomery County. Is this At a pizza Miami hut County or did I dial the wrong number again? The director, Dick Burroughs, picks up the message. Centerville Police Department, Mrs. Lank. Uh, this is Burroughs. Do you have a funnel sighted? Right out of our window. Is it touching the ground? Well, shit, they're actually <laughs> using Xenia footage. Oh, it's just right there. Right out of our window. Right outside. God, yes. Well, I give any words of wisdom. You just came right in there, honey. This storm is severe, a massive storm. I think Ron Burgundy hit the, the triple Hokin scotch tonight. I think he's going to need it. Into the city of Xenia, persons in the city of Xenia and along the track just south of it, Arrowhead, Xenia, Central State, should take cover immediately. Not many in Xenia hear his warning. One who doesn't is the engineer on a fast freight just pulling into Xenia Junction, slowing down before it hits the downtown crossings. That's not Xenia, that's Dillis, 57. There we go, back to Xenia. hits Arrowhead Flat, a subdivision just south of Xenia, then goes ripping and roaring toward the heart of the city. Bruce Boyd, a young high school student, grabs his 8mm camera and films its coming. In another part of town, no joke, a resident recorded the audio on the set. Oh, back to Mama's family? Hello. Hey, Bonnie, I can see a tornado coming. Get the kids and get to the basement. We saw it too. We're on our way. Aboard the train, the engineer sees it coming too. Begins sounding a frantic warning. Sir, the twister's not a car. Dumbass. Guess wind damage and atomic bomb test footage is the same thing. Police equipment and ambulances. Damn it, we need more time. Uh, Keith, activate the disaster preparedness center. In minutes, an emergency medical convoy is assembling outside the base hospital. And a heavy construction battalion is also being dispatched to Xenia. Attention, Box 21. Attention, Box 21. Code 400. Xenia's rescue squads are rallying. And in nearby Dayton, the crack volunteer rescue group known as Box 21 is also responding to the alarm. In Xenia. Dick, I've got to get a hold of the hospital and find out whether they can handle any more patients. Can you contact them? Yes, sir, and will do. Both City Hall and County Courthouse are wrecked. And there is no emergency operating center equipped to deal with this kind of crisis. Because the money that should have went here was spent on fucking Watergate. In the Green County Jail and go to work by flashlight. And see if you can get with the Red Cross people about what kind of sources of water and food they're going to have. Okay, I'll get in touch with Civil Defense and the Red Cross. The biggest hang up we've got, of course, is the railroad. Jesus Christ, this shit is a fucking mess, physically and politically. It's not gonna reflect what. Well. Colonel, good to see you. Uh, here with a convoy of heavy equipment and about 120 men. Where do you want them? The biggest thing I want to get on right now is down on West Main Street, Bob. I got four railroad cars across the street. Why does he scream rageaholic in a white van? You got the equipment, let's, let's we go. Try to show us where you want us to go. Okay. Nearly half of Xenia lies in ruins, but darkness hides the damage. Airmen from Wright-Patterson bring in an emergency generator, run lights into the county commissioner's office to serve as a makeshift operating center. Come rain or tornado, long, Poker Night in Xenia is always on. Desperately, trying to bring the situation under control. 
Boone, we have perimeter control established around the entire city now with 26 points. Is that right, Chief? That's right. Do you have any complaints of looting yet, Chief, or anything? I've had just a few, but they're minor so far. Great. The longer and this goes on, the harder it is for me to crack jokes at it. It's depressing. Bodies. At nightfall, a new wave of tornadoes starts sweeping the south. Son of a Alabama, bitch. They slice through Guin, Jasper, Lafayette, heading north toward Huntsville. Here's the latest bullet from Mel. A hook echo indicating tornado activity has now located over in northern Lawrence County. A tornado is on the ground at Langtown. Or well, this became a deadly game of battleship, but with a tornado. Everything along as it goes. In Huntsville, Civil Defense Director Harris Mitchell already has the emergency operating center on alert. Give it to Philip Mav and plot it on, on the map. Mr. Wiseman, here we are. Put the warning out again. Persons in trailer courts and mobile homes elsewhere are urged to evacuate and get to a place of safety. And for the love of God, don't shoot him! You better take cover, there's a tornado coming! A tornado is visible here at the airport. Projected path next few minutes will put it in the Harvest, Tony, Meridianville, Hazel Green areas of the county. We got a spot and headed our way. This was not what Tracy Lawrence sung about in Texas Tornado. Crossroads community west of Shit, the city. I think the twister threw off the sound again. Three more brick houses here completely gone. I don't know the people at home or not. I can't find anybody out here. The searchers find three victims, a mother and her two small children. Their bodies blown and tumbled a quarter mile through the muddy fields. As opposed to a tractor from South Dakota found after a tornado with a broken back in Montana. Got a big fall spot at north and off a big one. I can hear it now. Now it's a serious game of connected dots. A second twister has cut through the harvest area, right on the heels of the first. And the injured begin pouring into Huntsville Hospital. It's very weird to see a guy in overalls in amid this chaos. Services just ask other ambulances and surrounding communities to come and give assistance. All available ambulances in Huntsville are now dispatched to the tornado scenes. They need your help. Soon, blood supplies begin to run low. And we're running out of O positive and O negative. She and likes it black! Huntsville black Hospital number one! Supply of blood. The Red Cross is opening their blood center. They ask that blood donors report to 701 Andrew Jackson Way immediately. We need some help up here. Thank you, Captain okay, Obvious. To hit us, and there's another one on the way. Can you send us up some blood by highway patrol? At 10.50, an enormous new funnel. What, what the shit was that? Directly at Well, let's get out of here. Man, I can see this tornado very plain. It's coming just about straight in toward the border right now. Now, fast it's moving. It's moving fast. First fighting of the uh, Gunner Drive at the Space Museum. Space Museum is the first sighting. Mr. Wiseman? Seriously, daytime shots for a nighttime scenario? The tornado keeps coming through the heart of town, directly toward Huntsville Hospital. Oh, fucking night of the Twisters flashbacks. I saw that clip from the tornado safety film. So far, no. Safety fall or easterly path toward the Parkway City Shopping Center. Still on the ground all the way. Still on the ground. She's dispatched somebody to hospital. Oh, thank God. I thought I was a dude. You never know. Brandenburg. It 
looked like this in the morning. We had a tornado. That's, that would be the understatement of the year. <laughs> no shit. Oh my goodness, it just popped and cracked. It's like a hundred thousand tons of bomb dropped. And the wind are blowing every way in the world so strong. You couldn't tell what all was going on. And then I heard a roaring noise and, and I so am I saw what I thought to be smoke and stuff coming up over the hill, but it was a black cloud or wind, dirt and everything coming up over the hill. And my little grandson asked me what it was and I told him I thought it sounded like a train, but I knew it wasn't. They never sound like a train. It just hit. Never. It. Huntsville. The last big twister has ripped through Redstone Arsenal, leveled a trailer village. Fancier way of saying crack house community. Louisville. Xenia. Miles of sheer destruction. Oh, gang, callbacks to Joplin and more. It was just a big roar. And I, I don't know. It was just terrible. It sounded like a big train. Well, Fucking hell right not again. I've, I've never seen anything like it, and I don't want to again. You come and you see your home, and two seconds later, it's all gone. Just a nightmare. Just a nightmare. The same was said for when Obama and Trump won their the elections. In a million pieces. I was in the Battle of St. Lo and the Battle of the Bulge in World War II, and I never saw anything like this. Then he haven't saw Hiroshima from the same war. So we have found parts of the bodies here. We've found parts of all the bodies. So we've, we've got to go back and hunt for some more. A million pieces and problems to match. Like how much footage bodies was filmed and is there a the budget to recreate this? Gas mains burning. Water lines broken. The train wreck still blocking some of the rescue routes. To make matters worse, snow and cold. Well, it was in April when it happened, so the timing really fucking sucked. Oil drums to warm their hands. One explodes, and two of the guardsmen, sleeping in an unheated store, die as the building goes up in flames. Now they're heated to a horrifying crisp. This is what tornado winds can do. The Ace of Spades! And this. Mrs. Wilson, could you tell us what you found when you got home? A mess. One big, super colossal mess. Could My you just describe some of it for us? Some of the things? Well, chicken feathers in a skillet. Chicken feathers in a bowl that was in a refrigerator with a lid on it. Where'd the chicken come from? From a, a chicken farm just below us down here. They had quite a number of chickens, and we got quite a number of feathers. Okay, I'm creeped out. In less than 24 hours, they counted 147 tornadoes, and the damage is enormous. All in all, more than $600 million. Adjusted Homes, for inflation? Three stores, billion? Thousands of unsafe buildings to be searched, shuttered, marked off limits, and disaster for the people who owned them. We got a house for sale here. Sure, it's all they have. Listed as fixer upper on yeah, Craigslist. The house for sale, huh? Yeah, yeah. It stood up. We were in it when the tornado went through. So, if you want it, you can have it. <laughs> it's all they have. Plus that. <laughs> Some take it philosophically, others can't. What can you do? Shit, you early like Monica looks like bad. hell. But most refuse to give up. Do you have any idea yet what you're going to do? No, sir, I don't. I don't know what you do yet. You but can buy those pre-made houses on wheels. Get and store them somewhere and try to start again. But starting over won't be easy. Help will be needed. The president's declared ten states to be major disaster areas. While well, saying, I am not a crook. ...in all its many forms. One-stop disaster centers are set up to handle home, farm, and small business loans, food stamps, shelter, trailers, and other temporary housing. Government leachers. programs. And help is coming from every direction. Red Cross, Salvation Army. Bad idea. The they hate services, gays and trans. Corps of Engineers, the National Guard, to clean up and restore essential services. Rescue squads from hundreds of miles away. Volunteers of every kind. 
What a mess. Glad I'm not cleaning that up. Well, it'll all work out, I guess. It's just too bad. There's an awful loss here. My, these people, I feel so sorry for them. But I want to say one thing. The neighbors... Were the swiggers, people, and I hope they burn in hell. Really outstanding. Well, I'll tell you, I've uh, restored my faith in mankind with everybody. Uh, there's always so much talk about people. They don't care about each other. No way. There's no way. These people over here bust their back. Money, anything you want. If I took all the offers that people gave me, I'd be a millionaire. And moved to New York to April run for 3rd, president. 1974, the day of the killer tornadoes. They killed 307 people in 11 states and eight more in Canada. In Brandenburg, with no sirens, no weather wire, 31 dead. Where are all in the Virginia, old people with the bad knees? In Louisville, Cincinnati, Huntsville, the story was different. They had warning, planning, emergency operating centers. And Hamilton County around Cincinnati lost only four lives. Louisville, three. Huntsville, none at all. Was it just luck? Coincidence? No, the like Northerners were smart as opposed but to the prison fuckers in the South. Lives. And that was another day when civil defense paid off. And the people who lived through it will never forget. And you're going to hear more chatter as we roll credits and some stock footage. That happens to other people, and surely it's not going to hit us. It did. I, I just hope to God next time somebody listens to when there's a tornado warning out. I know there will around here. Oh, wait, no, man. I can't see it. I seriously can't make out these names. Fucking Christ. Oh, thank God. They didn't go with the all persons fictitious disclaimer they put on every film. You're welcome, Jubilee.